All right, what's up everybody? It's Mary Circus Well Training and I have an awesome standing butt workout. So we're not gonna get getting on the ground. We're not gonna be doing any uh, hip thrusters, anything like that. This is all gonna be simply a mix of cardio and isometrics to focus on your butt. So the first exercise we're gonna do is what you see right now. It's gonna be a kick, okay? So just a butt kick. So you can see chest is up, shoulders are back but I'm really focused on activating my actual hamstring, right? Pulling up with my hamstring, up with my hamstring, up with my hamstring, up with my hamstring. So instead of coming here and just kicking here, where you're just warming it up, it's not really, you're, you're not doing anything here. I mean, if you start doing here, right? But what I want you to do is flex that. If you need to hold on to something, you can flex your leg and then just push it up as if you're trying to collapse your hamstring on top of your leg, meaning you're trying to pull it up from, from the middle of that leg while you're standing. So the motion isn't as large because it's harder to get to. So if you're standing, it's more like a kicking back, right? Kick, kick. Really feel your butt pull under as you ground back down and roll back under, roll back under, roll back under. So it's almost like a half squat each time. My butt is already burning from that. Second exercise we're going to be doing for that butt is a RDL. So chest up, shoulders back, pulling those hips backwards as our head comes down. You feel it in those legs, back your legs, pull the core in and then pull up, squeeze your core, roll it under, stand nice and tall. Push that butt back, come down, coming up, squeezing under, standing nice and tall. So that first and second exercise are going to, oddly enough, fire up your, your cardio too, your heart, because what's happening is we're squeezing so hard as we're creating more, more, uh, more oxygen is needed, right? So that means we are doing more in terms of our actual output in a shorter amount of time. So I don't have to run. I could just be doing <sighs> these, right? I'm not running to get my butt. I'm actually just doing short, effective exercises. So that was exercise two. And number three is going to be a sumo pulse. So from the middle here, down, you're gonna be, you can see my back here too, sumo. And you're gonna be pulsing from side to side. Notice how I'm leaning through. It's almost like a motion, almost like a smooth motion that's pulling this way and then pulling you back that way and then pull and then pull. Because what you're doing is utilizing your but to push off of here so you can see it from the back here and then the front from here right it's almost like you're flowing but you're never really getting up right you're never really moving but you're pressing off of that back muscle pulling back down three exercises you can do from the comfort of your own living room and we are going to do them right now so first things first get some water and these are gonna be for a, a time, and I don't want you to think about doing too much. Just stick with me and do these with me in the same pace. So the first exercise, remember, those hands up and you're just kicking straight back, right? We're kicking, kick. And I want you to keep that butt rolled under as you step Focus on that pressing, being in your butt and in your hamstrings. Roll that butt under. Five more, four, three, two, one, good. Now heading over to those RDLs. Chest is up, shoulders are back. Pull in that core, press your butt back. And then pull in as you're pulling under and in and roll. And then back down, push that butt out. Good, rolling, pull those heels together underneath and pull under good squeeze here squeeze that butt together and pull under and then one more really slow down squeeze your butt up and under squeeze hold okay drop it down so your third exercise coming up now is that pulsing sumo squat kind of pushing back and forth really sitting down into your butt pulling that tailbone under flexing your core and feeling yourself move through solid movement, smooth movement. Three, 
pull those heels down two and one. Good stand. Push those legs in, bounce it out a little bit. The next exercise in the final exercise going to be that kicking, right? The kick inside, kick inside. So as I am kind of standing here, I'm kicking and I'm going to the side, kicking side, kicking side. This is your bonus exercise, kicking side, kicking side, okay. kick into the side. Stay nice and tall, kick to the side, kick to the side, kick to the side, good. Kick to the side. Now, at the end of this workout, so you can do this back to back. You, know, you can go straight where you're going uh, leg kickbacks and you're going forward side or you're going RDLs and then you're finally going that uh, reaching sumo squat. So when you're doing these, I'm just keeping my legs open and kind of loose, kind of jogging around. When you're doing these exercises, focus on mostly the movements and how effective they are in a short amount of time. Don't rush through this workout because it's not long. So if you're rushing through the workouts, you've got to rethink your strategy because we want you to do these workouts consistently. So let's go ahead and run through those exercises one more time. Remember, chest up, shoulders back, and you're flexing and extending that leg back, right? You're really trying to get that hamstring pushed. Straight after this, we're gonna go into those RDLs. No one hates uh, ab workout either, right? Uh, ab workout, no one hates ab workout, right? Of course not, because we're not even categorizing this as ab workout, but it is. Everything's an ab workout, right? Straight into those RDLs, ready? Chest up, shoulders back, pull under, back. And then pull up, squeeze your butt, squeeze up and under. Breathe to the sky. And push that butt down. Squeeze, pull, 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 pull. Good. And then dive it back down. Pull straight up. Reach back. Let's go one more. Push those hips back. Pull under, pull, squeeze. Drop it down. So, I mean, I am sweating. And now we've got our third exercise, which is the sumo flow. How about that? We call it a sumo flow. I was trying to get a name for this because I used to use this a lot in like a track warm up. But now, since we're sitting back, it's almost like a crab, right? So as you're sitting back, push through the heel, ground down, push through the heel, push, push. Really feel your butt working. If you need to swoop a little bit, that actually works pretty well too. So shake it out, three exercises, back to back. And for bonus exercises for your butt, for your thighs, and for your arms, go ahead, check out all the videos that we have. Click the links below, click the links above, share with your friends and family because we're changing the way that people are exercising because it doesn't have to be that complicated. So click the button below, join the Svelte community.